the word of God and our life and the, the whole world around us is full of laws. You know, for an example, take the law of gravity. You may say, I don't believe in the law of gravity. And you go climbing a 20 story uh, building and, and you jump off of it. Well, guess what? The law of gravity doesn't care who you are, what you look like, how popular and famous you are, how much money you have, the law of gravity is going to work and as to say, okay, here you are, come and bam, splat, right in the ground. So just as much as we have just laws in life, there's this also law that I like to call a kingdom law. And the thought that I want to share with you today is this, that you will never be able to uh, possess what you're unwilling to pursue. Again, you will never be able to possess what you are not willing to pursue. Why is this a kingdom law and why does this law work? Because the thing is this. Uh, whenever, for an example, if you're hungry and you're at home, what do you normally do? You'll go in the kitchen, you'll go to the refrigerator, you'll go in the closet, the pantry and make yourself some food. But if for whatever reason you have no food at home or you're lazy, well, there's plenty of restaurants. You just go out there and before you make it there, you can make a phone call. Hey, you know, I want to order Chinese food and uh, or I want to order a happy meal or go through a drive-thru, however it may be, because you have an inner hunger physically speaking and that inner hunger now is sending signals to your mind and saying hey man you got to feed me so that's the concept concerning this that we are not willing to pursue you will never possess and that talks about us having an inner spiritual hunger and i personally believe that the holy spirit and the work of the holy spirit is to actually uh, stir within ourselves to stir within our spirit man certain thoughts certain desires certain ideas uh, certain things for us to think about uh, even you know for, for those of you who uh, who preach or are speaking or, or share the God's Word you understand that you know when you meditate in God's Word it's just the uh, thoughts are coming information is coming passages coming to your mind whatever it may be or if you're in a in an area of like maybe construction like I am and, and you know thoughts and ideas are come okay how can I improve here how can I make this bigger a little smaller how can I uh, make this in a way that will uh, be better for the client or if you're building a house for yourself so in other words when we begin to uh, apply our heart our mind and even our passion towards something specific or it could be towards an individual, could be towards to a certain subject, it begins to grow within us an inner hunger. So that's why this is very important, that you will never be able to possess uh, the things or pursue certain things that uh, you're not willing to pursue. So this is an action word. This is something that you and I, we need to understand. This is something you and I need to take into high consideration if you want to achieve those things in your life. All right, until next time, my friend.